we've got these ES200. If you saw the previous video, I serviced two of these. Um, that's the scruffier one of the two. This receives better than the other one, but I think they both exceed what the manufacturer says they do. So, uh, oh, but, but this light on it might help. For a start, these annoyingly switch on on channel 9. So we'll just find 31, which is where Mr. Chippy will be. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? 21 there. Hello there, just on the first of these radios. Roger on that. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Now fast Lancaster service station to meet you. Now locking on this properly. Yeah, Roger, and this sounds dreadful. I'm just going to swap to the other radio. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy. Yep, just going up to the hill past the quarry. Roger, got you. Tango 21, Roger. Tango 21, Mr. Now going round, Scratchy Corner, Wilsford, over. Roger, I've got you going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. I'm on a Eurosonic ES200 walkie talkie, and it's developing 3 watts saver. Roger, got you going over Wilsford Level Crossing. Roger. Thank you. <clears throat> right, we're now passing the Kelby turn. Roger, got you out the Kelby turn. The phone's ringing now. Tango 21 back with you, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I don't know why you're going away. Uh, right, uh, it's uh, passing the train uh, now. Probably going a little slower than the train now. It's uh, going on the train now. Yeah, it was, uh, the phone rang, so I jumped up and answered it. That was, that, that's what that was about, Ava. Now I want you to do your shopping at the end of this test and then come back because I need to check over the second radio. Uh, it wasn't uh, functioning right when I came to try it over. Anyway, you seem to be reading me all right on three watts. Excellent. Roger, got you going over Rossby level crossing. That concludes this set, and I'll wait for you to uh, call me and we'll proceed with the second one over.
I want you to do your shopping first before coming back over. Roger. So, well, that's the that was the inferior one of the two because the one which was the better one of the two isn't receiving as well as it should be. So I just wanted to double check that we've got the detector in the correct position um, because when I did the first set, I didn't realise there was another coil there which uh, can affect it. So we're just going to double check on that. And then I'll have him come back and we'll do the test with the other set. So we started off with the better set, found it didn't work properly, swapped it over to the inferior set, uh, which is just on receive. I, I, I say inferior, it's uh, it, it's just not receiving as, as sensitive as the other, but it's still well within specification. They're both transmitting exactly the same. So it's funny that the, the set which was the inferior ones actually worked the best so far. So I'll do a quick little check on this and then we'll start the video again. So in fact, when I've gone back to the first set, it's actually a bit distorted because the speaker cone must be rubbing. So when I use it, I did check the detector, it was spot on, but when we have it on an external speaker, it's very different to uh, when it's on its internal speaker. So we'll just see whether there's anything I can do about that. But considering this is the one that he has been using, he will know that it's got a distorted speaker. So I think what we'll do, we'll start off plugged into the external speaker. Roger, right, so here we go with the test for the other one. Tango 21 from Mr Chippy receiving. Yeah, Tango 21, got you at the garage. Yeah, Roger that, setting off. I'll now do, now you've heard it. I will unplug the extension speaker and we can listen to the distortion on the internal speaker. What I'll do is I'll take the lid back off, I'll take the speaker out and see if there's anything we can suck out if there's any debris because I won't be able to replace the speaker. Right, we're now going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you going through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you at the top of the hill. Roger got you loud and clear going around Scratchy Corner Willsford and once again I'm on a, a Eurosonic ES200 hand portable doing 3 watts over. Roger got you going over Wheelsford Level Crossing. Roger got you out the Kelby turn. Roger got you out the Greylees turn. Okay, Roger and that, Mr. Chippy, that concludes the test, thank you. 10 10. Okay, so I'm just going to whip the lid off this and just see if there's some rubbish I can get out of the speaker. Sometimes there's a bit of um, debris that you can sometimes remove. Um, as he was further away, I mean, it was more and more readable, to be honest. It was at close quarter uh, that um, when it was a fully saturated signal, that I could tell it was. Uh, more distorted than one would expect and that's why I showed you it with the external speaker so that you knew it actually wasn't the radio that was uh, uh, playing up it was actually the speaker in it so okay so Mr Chippy's out there this does sound better but it's not it's not perfect Roger got you at the end of the line 
I'm just having to Ancaster crossroads because it's when it was a closer signal that this is more um, kind of visible. Roger got you at Ancaster service station. Roger got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Now what I'm going to do, just for the video, is I'm going to plug the extension speaker back in just to hear the difference. Okay, we've got the extension speaker plugged in now. Yep, roger that. Right, we're just going up the hill past the quarry presently. Okay, well that will do at that. We don't need to do another test. We know the radio perfectly works. Yep, roger that. Okay, so at this point we'll now go over to the base station. We'll start with this set, which is the slightly more sensitive set, but with the debris in the speaker. And then we've had the second set, which the customer wasn't getting on with at all, uh, which we've serviced and is slightly less sensitive, but he's still well within spec, uh, but doesn't have a distorted speaker. So we'll do the two. Tango 21, testing the ES200CB, obviously on its internal microphone, and that's into our Harris CBHQ base station, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the one with the better sensitivity on receive and the stuff in the speaker making it a little bit distorted on receive. So I'm get 21 testing the second ES200 CB. This is the one with the slightly less sensitive receive and no debris in the speaker. Testing 12345 54321. And I hope that's been. 